Hi guys, in this video we will see the difference between method overloading and method overriding. Let's see first method overriding and for that we need single inheritance. Let's create two classes A and B. I know A and B are worst name for naming a class according to naming conventions but I am using this name just to simplify this concept. Suppose class A have a method called display which prints some value of class A and class B also have a display method which prints some values of class B. Then which method will be called when object of class B calls display method? In such situation JVM gets confused. So JVM gives preference to object type. So the object is of class B, therefore display method of class B is called. This concept is called as dynamic binding in Java. So to exact same methods in both derived and base classes is called as method overriding. Now let's see method overloading. So method with same name but different arguments in same class is method overloading. Here we have three get data methods with different parameters in class A. So this is an example of method overloading. If you are still confused about method overloading then I uploaded a separate video on method overloading. Just check out that video. Let's understand method overriding in detail and learn more awesome stuff. You have just created a simple class A and B. A is a parent class and B is a derived class. Main class is just a driver class. Now both the classes contains a display message method. Always remember to write the at the rate override annotation, it's a good coding practice. I have created two objects, one of class A and another one of class B. And when this object calls display message method, method in these classes are called. Let's run our program. Now both the messages are printed. Now I am creating a parent type reference to a child class object. This is called as runtime polymorphism. Because reference was of class A but object was of class B. So reference was given to object that is class B and class B display message work. So this is called as a runtime polymorphism because the object was of class B. Let's see some rules for method overriding. Static methods cannot be overrided. The object was of class B but still class A display message was called. It proves that you can't overwrite static method. Second, you can't overwrite a private method. And we are getting an error. We'll learn more stuff in final and super keyword video. Guys, visit Code Archery and try to solve the exercises I created for you. Like Code Archery Facebook page and join our group. You can also support me on Patreon.
and if you like my work then please hit that like button and share my videos. Thank you so much for subscribing.